Where is Gwen? Where is Gwen? Ah, you know what? We're going to get started, everybody. Uh, hey, today. Sorry, 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 I'm late. Uh, my flight got delayed, but I just got off the plane. I came back from, from Canada with Lucas. And let me tell you, winging on ice was the, the, the easiest thing uh, to learn how to handle the wing. I loved it. So you guys need to know about this. If you are looking for one of the easiest ways to learn how to wing foil, except for the foiling part, but to know to be ready to handle the wing perfectly when you get into wing foiling, ice winging is amazing. Hands down, he just said it. It's a great way a lot of people don't talk about. And we just want to sit here and say, hey guys, if you're sitting in the snow, if you're sitting at your house, this is the perfect way to get started. Learn all the wing handling. It's a big part of it. It's a great way to get started. So let's do it. Coming straight from Florida, right here, to talk about uh, ice winging with Lucas. We're gonna talk about why ice winging is an incredible way to wing, to enjoy the wing, and maybe to learn how to wing. So, Lucas, give us uh, the rundown on ice winging, and uh, have you done it? Like, what kind of condition you need? Right on, yeah, totally. I mean, I've spent plenty of time ice winging, and it's, uh, the most efficient way by far to enjoy your wing in the winter. We've talked about snowboarding, we've talked about skiing. These, you know, these devices or boards or crafts require a little bit more wind speed. But when it comes to ice winging, it really opens up the door to a, a virtually almost no wind sport. <laughs> you can almost make your own wind with the speed of your skates, right? So the conditions you're looking for, obviously flat, anything you can skate on. If it's too bumpy to skate on, you're not gonna enjoy it. You're gonna catch an edge and it's not gonna be too fun. You want something flat, something easy to ride in. And in terms of wind, you don't need too much wind. I'm talking literally like five knots starting point to I would say max 15 knots. Yeah. Like yeah. when it, it, there's no friction. Like imagine how efficient hydrofoiling is and add a level to that. It's yeah, even yeah. more efficient to hydrofoiling. And as soon as you feel a lull, you just do like a sidestep with your skates. You can just push yourself a little bit more speed and you have that much more into it, right? So snow uh, ice winging is pretty incredible for sure. Like, yeah, it's amazing. One of the most important points that we, you know, really need to talk about is... Are you Damien Leroy? I have a package for you. Just like that. Tajima Direct, they can literally make custom lenses for you, ship from California, polarized, non-polarized, different colors. Whether you have Ray-Bans or Oakleys or anything, they can custom fit them. Or if you have a special pair of sunglasses that you love, you can just send them there. They'll put in the most perfect lenses ever and you'll be jamming. And just like that, like I can see. I mean, like seriously, I can see. So simple, so easy. Tajima Direct, thank you guys so much for sponsoring the video. Get yourself some lenses out there. These guys are amazing. It's that quick, Boop. done, ready to go. So now talking about like maybe some like safety things like, or, you know, ice means like, you know, how thick is the ice? Are you going to fall through? It, like we, we... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to tell people the exact thickness they need. <laughs> I think you need like three to four inches before it holds a human or whatever. You know, there's a certain ratio. Maybe Google that before you go out. <laughs> Make sure it's thick enough and do not hold us responsible if it's not. <laughs> but um, definitely um just make sure it's smooth as i mentioned earlier because if there's cracks and you're flying along it your blades can easily catch in it and you know the consequences are quite high on snow i actually you know as canadians we all play hockey i put my my knee pads and my elbow pads for my hockey gear under my snow suit you can't even see it and i love it because i can fully crash and i you know have no problem yeah eating it i was going to ask like do you wear like any protection because falling on ice is it like well the thing is your knees right you fall on your knees it hurts i would put knee pads on if you're going for your first few times and you're unsure especially elbow pads are a good one as well um, the tricky part with the wing on the ice is everything slippery you can't anchor your wing you let it go it's gone you know so the best way to do it pump your wing next to the ice put your skates on and walk on like don't don't try to get on the ice first 
pump your wing, have your skates on. You know, I've tried to put my skates on the pump, it slips and it doesn't, like, it doesn't work. <laughs> I tried it. Pump your wing before you walk onto the slippery ice surface and then put your skates on and go straight into it. There's not much to it. It's super simple. Um, take it easy though, because like I said, the consequences are significantly higher in this than most wing sports uh, as far as snow goes. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's fun, it's fast, it's very easy, and it's very efficient on your arms, kind of like foiling. It's not as tiring as in the snow. So, and I've seen um, some sort of like a, a bird that has like, it's kind of like a snowboard, but with... With blades yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I haven't personally tried it. I've seen it on online. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I wouldn't say ridiculous, it's pretty cool. You can, it's like a skateboard with a couple of blades on it, kind of like a bobsled skateboard. Yeah, yeah. You know, take the bobsled off, put a skateboard on it on a smaller scale, and you can fly on that thing. But that's again, if your ice isn't smooth and you catch an edge on that, you're flying and the board's staying there. Yeah, yeah. Like these things are, you know, the risk is definitely elevated and you can pick up speed quick on a wing, right? So that's why I'm saying keep the wind light. Um, if it's super windy, it's kind of, you're kind of on edge and you're trying to slow down the whole time because it's super easy to build speed. So five, 10 knots is the perfect money range. You can do some, you know, some 360s. You can practice your turns, your tacks. It's super easy as your balance on skates. I mean, assuming you can skate, right? I don't yeah, know, can yeah. You? So, well, I mean, <laughs> kind of, but so that's something for sure to keep in mind is, you know, maybe like for sure going light wind and then I mean, an experienced have, skater too. Have a bit of a skill, like, yeah. Somewhat. I mean, if you're whole, if, if you play hockey, you should be fine. If you figure skate, if you're recreational skating, but if you're holding on to something while you skate, I probably wouldn't yeah. go to the wing straight away. As you know, it's easy to get hurt on your knees and your elbows, cool. or, or your head. Put a helmet on. Thanks, Lucas. We see you. Thank you, Glenn. It's great to see you in Canada. We see you uh, <laughs> when you come visit in Florida. <laughs> Hopefully soon. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being a part of this. You know, watching our videos, supporting us, leaving your comments, and 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 you guys are just everything. We really appreciate you. It, it makes Gwen dress up like this in the middle of Florida. <laughs> it's about a hundred degrees. No, it's we are lucky today. It's actually cold. I was thinking we would we not might be able to ice wing today. It's not quite that cold, but um, yeah. Uh, I hope that this was helpful. If uh, you are in this situation, it's winter wherever you are. It's cold and you want to get into wing falling, but you are thinking that you have to wait until this summer, you don't have to, you can definitely learn right now. It's a, it's a great way to learn. We're just trying to give you guys every bit of tools to live your best life, and hopefully this video will help you uh, do that, and it's a great way to do it. So on that note, thank you so much. We love you guys. Have a wonderful week, and uh, until next video. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> <laughs>